All right, so uh, good morning to those of you who are not on the East Coast. It's 12.30 here. We had to get up early, early in quotes, getting up at 9, uh, early for me, talking some London football. Always fun. Glad to have London football back. Uh, I decided to make this video on Zach Wilson. He wasn't great in this one. I didn't think he was. Uh, maybe I could have made a Kyle Pitts video instead, uh, but you know, I'll probably make that later, I think. Uh, back to Zach Wilson. I thought that he had some, some rough spots here. I did. And I thought that this is kind of one of those where last week he had some rough spots, but then he had those great plays, so the good outweighed the bad. This one, I'm not so sure if it did, but there was some promise towards the end. However, I think uh, there were some issues, and I actually think the bigger issues aren't, again, I kind of feel this way constantly that I feel like the issues about Zach Wilson are getting talked about in the wrong way. So that's why I like making these film studies, uh, giving my two cents on what I saw. And listen, all the excuses are still there, right? All of the, I think, very valid reasons of why the Jets offense has been rough outside of Wilson still exist. Uh, I think the O-line gets too much blame. The O-line's fine. Uh, it's the receiving core that makes everything look way worse, in my opinion. But Zach Wilson also had some struggles on top of that. So let's just get into the film. So we'll start off with this one. This is going to be the interception. And to me, the interception was not his worst play of the game, actually. I think that uh, there were a couple worst ones. So what's going to happen is that it's zone coverage. And it's a cover three zone, I believe. It's a chance this is cover two, but I believe this is cover three. And you're going to see why Wilson looks at this and thinks it's a route he should throw to, although I actually think the real issue isn't that he throws it to this route, but he waits too long to throw it to this route, because watch what happens. Wilson takes the snap, and as you see, so the corner is going to let him go right here, but everyone else that we can see on the screen is acting as though it's cover three, but the corner is acting as though it's cover two, although the safety is also going to come over. So again, it's a little bit hard to understand exactly what's going on, given what we can see on the screen right now. So for me, I think, it, listen, if I'm having a hard time figuring out what coverage it is, I think it's fair for Zach Wilson to have a hard time figuring out what coverage it is. And if he believes this is cover three and is you know wanting to throw this ball right now, I understand that. I would also say, though, throws pretty much got to be coming out of your hand right now. Uh, and Wilson's just going to wait a little bit too long. As you see, uh, at this point, uh, safety is going to come over and jump in front of the route. So great play, but, you know, great defensive play for sure. But that's a mistake for sure by Zach Wilson. It's also, to me, a definition of a rookie mistake. We see rookies do this like constantly. Every rookie has made this mistake. So it's a bad play for sure, but it's not a concerning play in any way. The, to me, this is that's kind of why I say it's not his worst play, because I saw some other stuff that I'm like, oh man, what is going on with Zach Wilson? This, he's been doing this all season. He'll probably do this for the rest of the season, uh, and you just hope that it goes down by the end of the season into next season. But like something like this is very bizarre to me, and we've seen a little bit of this in the you know regular season so far for the Jets through weeks you know, one through four, although I would say this week was the worst I saw it, which is his accuracy issues for sure, where, you know, he's just going to check it down uh, to the, not check it down, but it's a screen pass. So it's a very simple play. This is something he should be able to do in his sleep. But instead, when he takes a snap, you know, he sets his footwork up and everything. He just underthrows it. And he's done that a few times this year. He's kind of underthrown a lot of easy throws. Very bizarre. Uh, it's not really something I noticed that was a big issue in college, so maybe I just missed it, and that's on me as an evaluator, or maybe this is just sort of a new thing. I don't know. Kind of weird either way, but like this one's another one where, you know, I kept talking about uh, what I was doing my preseason evaluation of how consistently accurate he was down the field. Well, he missed throws. He missed, you know, the easy throws. He missed the medium difficulty throws. He missed the tough throws. Uh, you know, he made some throws too, of course. We'll talk about that in a second, but he definitely missed some. Uh, this is an example where it's zone coverage. You have Corey Davis running a go route towards the sideline. Uh, Zach Wilson's going to you know, uh, run a play action and then roll out towards the bottom of the screen. Watch how when this play starts. So it works out really well. Wilson has all day to throw a clean pocket. He can step into this throw uh, and you know make the throw down the field. So this is perfect. Good job by him. Well, I guess less good job by him. Good job by the Jets offense is what I mean. Uh, but anyways, watch what happens. Wilson takes this shot deep and down the field, there is an opening. And once I saw this, I mean, the way he threw it just seemed a little bit odd. He kind of hurried his throw a little bit, which I think is probably why there's going to be the inaccurate on this but like this is the kind of opening that he made against the titans right it's not wide open but there is an opening there 
there. And, you know, if he underthrows it or overthrows it, it's understandable. But watch this throw. Just wildly inaccurate towards the inside. I mean, that's just, it, it was, that was tough. That wasn't great uh, by Zach Wilson. It just wasn't. Uh, he underthrew that ball and threw it way too far to the inside. Uh, that's not where he wanted to throw it. So again, just a bit off. Maybe it's playing in London. We've seen that happen and that affects certain guys. I don't know, but that, that feels kind of like an excuse. I think he just had a bad day. It happens. Look at Baker Mayfield last week. He had a bad day. And now we'll go over to this one. We should mention like there were some good passes and I'm sure everyone's going to say, ah, it was just garbage time or whatever. But like, you know, I mean, for the most part, Atlanta was playing very similar coverages to what they were doing all game sort of towards the end. I think A, the Jets kind of figured out the Falcons defense and B, the Falcons definitely were being a bit more cautious. So, uh, you know, not giving up the deep stuff, letting stuff go underneath. Uh, so I, I, definitely that was a factor. Although, you know, the Jets also got some deep shots. But anyways, there were some good plays. This is one of them. It's a cover two zone. You have a receiver going into a gap in coverage. And look, right when this play starts, so Wilson runs the play action. He's going to throw the ball down the field and they make the catch. And to me, this kind of stuff is, you know, again, he was open, right? And this is what is optimistic for me is sort of towards the end of the game, when guys were getting consistently open, Wilson looked a lot better. Still not perfect, but a lot better. And again, I think that's kind of the hope for Jets fans is like, the issue with Sam Darnold last year, and clearly we were too hard on Sam Darnold, even if, you know, regardless of how you feel about him now, uh, we were probably too hard on him then. But one of the issues is that when things were going well, he would still struggle and make mistakes. At least when things are going well with Zach Wilson, he's looked solid. So that is the one silver lining. But like, I mean, still, I mean, you know, even with that, this wasn't a great performance from him. All right. Well, anyways, enough about uh, that. Uh, I, you know, that's, that is the one benefit I would say. The silver lining is sort of that fourth quarter. But again, whereas last week, that ending part of the game, he was awesome. In this uh, ending part of the game, he was fine. But again, that's kind of what I look towards a little bit, right? I think about Joe Burrow last year, and he had an up and down season, not uh, as up and down as Wilson has been so far, but he definitely had an up and down season. But when things were going well, he looked awesome. Uh, and when things are going well for Wilson, he's looked good. It's just when, you know, he's stuck in these tough situations, he has struggled. And I thought he, you know, his mistakes get amplified. So yeah, I mean, it's okay. We can say, I didn't think he had a great performance and still I like him as a prospect. Those are two things you're allowed to say. I'm still somehow a little bit confused. I saw a comment saying like the Jets need to spend, you know, uh, every pick in the draft on offensive line help. And I'm just kind of like, wait a second. No, that's the wrong, that's the wrong concern. Uh, the offensive line's not great, right? But it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, the, the receiving core is one of the worst in the league. And, you know, uh, it, it's kind of one of those things. Wilson's making bad decisions. Wilson's, uh, you know, made plenty of mistakes and missed some throws. He's also not getting a lot of help. That's, that's the way I view it. Probably not going to make as many more of these, like, you know, game by game rookie evaluations. I might, you know, only do it when there's an interesting story from here on out. Uh, that was actually the plan heading into this week. But with the London game, I was like, okay, I'll do one more Wilson video uh, and then uh, call it a day unless something exciting happens, in which case, you know, then I'll talk about it more. So yeah, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.